Groot hond, my king, in these stressful tyre, what do you do to stay so lech? Listen, Axie, that's very kind of you to ask. Uh, I like to run myself a lekker warm bath. Uh, okay. And then I like to sometimes fuch by a touch of Epsom salt. Okay. And if I really want to relax, then I make myself a delicious cup of Earl Grey tea. Okay. Okay. Oh, Naxi, that's a beautiful shirt. Where did you get that? Uh, last week I went. Okay. <laughs> okay. Today's guest is a young king. A young king that also carries an ovacite. He's been described as one of the most outspoken South African MCs of his generation. So, I'm sure he will have a lot to say. I was working season three of Van Blood and Water of Netflix, and I best lyricist in album of the year given by the South African Hip Hop Award. Oh. Yeah. And in his own words, he is a Kaapstad naaier. This dude makes kids with words, and he's one of the godfathers of Mengelt, and possibly the freestyle king of South Africa. So we know this oak can rap, but can he brought? Dames and heren, let's put our hand up by my car for youngster CPT. We're gonna be prodding, prodding. 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 So, here we are. Peaches and herb. Peaches and herb. Peaches and cream. Peaches and cream. 112, a classic song. I shouldn't have been listening to that at age 11. It's quite a sexualized track about women and eating peaches with cream. Who, how does it go? Peaches and cream. I know because you know that I'm a fiend. Getting freaky in my bloody limousine. He doesn't say bloody limousine, but I feel like... He says... He should have said bloody. What did he say? Who knows? In those years, we didn't Google lyrics. If you were like me, you listen to songs, and you sat with a pen and a page, and you try to write... You just try to write down what you think you heard. Yeah, and often that's... Incorrect. Yes. Yes, sir. Sorry to start it off with peaches and cream. I just felt like the people needed to... Thank you. A good start to the episode. Yeah, you know what I mean? Just to give it a bit of a basis. Yes. You know, I think we start with you Oaks and the like peaches. Oaks like you and me, we like a bit of a bass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> Add more bass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need, it. I, 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 I need low bass. I need basements. And it needs to be based on a true story. Oof. Hey. It's always good with words, I can tell. As you come here, bro. Yeah. Of praten. And welcome, mm. geachte kijker. Sitting here with oh, yeah. youngster. Salute, yeah. Also known as, is it Riyadh? Riyadh, yeah. Riyadh. Yeah, yeah Riyadh, yeah. Shorter. Shorter, yeah. Um, I'm named after the capital of Saudi Arabia, which means I can't travel to America anytime soon. But um, my mother was very unimaginative with the name. She was sitting in the doctor's office and just, you know, they have those atlases. Yes. In the doctor's office. That's not an atlas, that's a bowl swerving in space. Peach, I'm having my moment here, don't take it away from me. So she we just did this, this basically, right and then boom, there it is. Riyadh. Capital of Saudi, that's me right there. What? Yeah, very unimaginable. Like Same spelling, everything. Same spelling, everything. She took it from a map, bro. I Have you been there? there? Never. I was close, though. I was in Dubai. And as soon as the man greeted me, I was like, oh, your name is Riyadh. 
I was like, yes, my name's Jerry. Like, oh, write this way, please. <laughs> Why didn't you say so? <laughs> and then Jerry came to me like, well, your name is Jerry. Right, just stop, my friend. <laughs> I loved it. The yes, persecution at least was reversed this time. You, you know should I mean? go. I should, definitely. They, they'll treat me like a sultan. Yeah. Or some sort of... Uh, a sultan is much royalty. like a king. Yes, he is, man, yeah. yes, And are is. you a king? You know, I don't like to, to, to label myself as that. I feel like it's a big title that one must carry, you know. But at the same time, I also don't want to take away from my, my bloodline, you know. I feel like I've, I've come from descendants of, of brave and courageous people. So I kind of have a little bit of kingness in me. And then also I managed to conquer some, some obstacles yeah. that not everyone was able to. So in certain ways, I, I definitely am aware of my status, my king status. But do I like to scream it out at the top of a mountain and remind people every week that I'm a king? No. But you know you're a king. That's the thing. The kingdom decides also yes. who the king is. You know? And if you're a good king, that is the important thing. Because we don't see kings. We watch all those period movies, bro. And a some lot of, of the, some of those kings are, uh, 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 you know, they're pretty cutthroat. Yes, they love beheading. But in this world, I feel like there's king energy mm. and there's clown energy, Ooh. and we all carry both in true. different true, volumes. Uh, what's your What's been your biggest clown moment of your of your life? Clown mm. moment of my life. I spent a long time of my life. Um, projecting the, the clown moments. Uh, Channeling the clown in oh, a Oh, near Bozo. So I would say... <laughs> or I Ronald. Would, uh, hey, Ronald McDonald. Bro. And, uh, uh, I just think of another famous clown before we go. It. He wasn't funny. Yeah, though. he was a gutter clown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He could have also been a pedophile. But we're not going to go there. I mean, you're luring children in from the, from the drain, bro. You know, you know. That is a bit it's a, dodgy. There's a line, you know, there's a line and he crossed it. He did but, cross it. But, uh, but if I think about yeah. it, uh, what was the question again? King energy and <laughs> clown energy. <laughs> now, nah, look, uh, I'm all for, 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 for jokes, for pranks. I'm actually doing a, a, a roast while I'm here in Joe because of the roast oh, of Kanye and Bao. Never met her in my life and I'm going to be roasting a woman. How cuck is that, me, bro? Now nah, she's going to meet me for the first time and I'm talking cuck about her. She, she's going to remember me like that forever. Well, it's a shit first impression, bro. But back to the clown energy before you proceed. Um, I would say like high school years, primary school years, most of my school career was spent as the class clown. You know, and I'm proud of it. You know? yes. I, I wasn't even like trying to be a, a, an academic or an athlete or you know, a, a good student or whatever the case. I, mean, I just passed you know, um, sniggering comments in the background and waited till the class laughed so we, we could be distracted for the next five minutes. And then that was me. But, oh. Hey, it's all the lamp starting to three, you know what that means. So one day I did break out in song during a matric exam and start singing the Gypsy Kings. Oh, wow. Okay, wow. I feel wow. like, let's hear it. Wow, went close, uh, so everybody was silent, we were in the wall, we were writing matric exams, and I just looked around at everybody and I thought, it's too quiet in here, man, I smart to make a noise. So I was like, <laughs> Bamboleo, Bamboleo. <laughs> You small flesh or you a plant-based king? Damn, baby. Um, I like eating things that have been killed. Definitely. Planter? Yeah. Uh, I, I, I'm a carnivore in that regard, but in terms of my uh, vegetarian side, you know, it's most mangoes, most yes. you know, it's I do uh, lean more towards the, the, the greenery and the shrubbery. The shrubbery. The so shrubbery. the planter is more something you like to suck deep into the longer. True. I prefer to set these on fire. It gives off a nice smell. And it also has your eyes low. And uh, unlocks a different part of the pineal gland. When did you last have a bit of a Uh Last night. Okay, so not a wake and bake type of guy. Not if I have to come sit with you, Peach. I feel like you're going to catch me off guard and, and I don't want to be caught off no, guard. No, no, don't be paranoid. Okay. Don't be suspicious. The weed does that, though. The guns have been making you paranoid sometimes. I've been thinking these people watching me from my windows and shit. It is weird of me to sit in his house you see what with I mean. people caking. Hey, there we go. We prating, they caking. And we're both we wearing a wire. Uh, hey, ho. You know, just uh, with all due respect to all my criminals out there, this wire is purely for recording purposes of the show. I was asked to wear the wire before I came on. 
to the couch, and this has nothing to do with our criminal activities that we partake in from the Monday to Fridays in Cape Town. You want to elaborate on that? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to get me like that. The old wire under the t-shirt trick, eh? Not going to fall for that shit. You do a good... American, I think. Yeah, but I could have heard of a recent verse. That's mm, why, like a British... A British, yeah. Like I said, bro, you know, I got one foot in, one foot out. I like to experiment and being the class clown, once again, we're going to go back to that thing. I mean, I was singing the Gypsy Kings. I don't even know what the fuck they're saying. Yeah, this is, this is I still don't know what they say. No one does. But it's provocative. <laughs> it's exactly. people going. And yes, I, like, I don't know if, if, if the staff at Nando's was aware of any of those Gypsy Kings albums <laughs> they were playing. I don't know if the, the owner of Nando's it was a friend of the Gypsy Kings or something. But for me, it's just like music as a way of conveying feeling without yeah. you understanding. Sometimes yes. I'm sure, like, even me growing up listening to quieter music. You know, after the stuff TKZ was saying, I still don't know what they're saying, but when Fiasco came on or when any of those songs would play anyway, you know, the, the roof would raise. When Mendoza came on, you know, people would turn up wherever it was, whether it was a, a rugby game, a soccer game, you know what I mean? So these songs have the, the power to transcend past like language and dialect yeah. and understanding. So even for me, like, I hear something I like and I'll learn the words of it like a parrot. Yes. And I've been like it since I was a light. It's just learning things I don't even understand, you know, rapping songs that I've, I, I've never loved this content, I've, I've never experienced what they're talking about yet, some of it, you know, but I just grand the way it sounded. So that is how I now, you can say, interpreted it and then spat it out in my own, in my own version of that. Yes. You know, so it was a copy, but it wasn't a copy and paste. Yo, that blew my mind. It was a mind. copy, but it wasn't. But a it copy wasn't a paste. copy and paste. No, I copied it and then I turned it into something else, and then I just regurgitated it. Is Mister Kins just a copy of something else? Some of them, I would say, are bad copies. Yeah. The thing is, you must be such you, you, you must be such a good imitator that I mustn't be able to tell where you took this thing from, yes. and then when you tell me. I'm like, oh, now I yes. see. Oh, Jim Carrey. Okay, yeah, nice. I, mean, I get it, bro. But if I can look at you and you're doing it already and I can pick it up, oh, now this man is imitating, you know. Yeah, then it's not stuff. paying homage. It's not a nod. No, then it's, it's not a copy inspiration. And paste, it's know? just like taking so, someone else's cock. Yeah, yeah, salute. Yeah. So for me, there's, there's nothing wrong with copying, but you have to do it in a way that isn't as obvious. It must be blatant. Yes. Don't trace the picture. Don't trace the Don't picture. Trace the picture bro. Look at it. Look at it. Go home. Try. Yeah. Get yourself a pen. Yeah. <laughs> taking it out of your cup. <laughs> like a real man. Yeah, yeah. How do you uh, like? How do you sit with this man on, on a normal day? Is he like this? On, uh, like it's on a Tuesday. <laughs> like on a normal I? Tuesday, bro. You know. How am I? Yeah, bro. I'll lock him up for you all day. <laughs> Wait till you clap his up. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now we need to smoke one one day. Not on camera and not wearing wires either. Yeah. But I did bring you a clean geskenki just to, you know, to say thank you for being here. You're a good man, sir. It's also because I believe you mm. deserve your blomme hey. for the work you're hey. doing out here. Ho! Punchlines! Pa! Punchlines! I thought I was the only one doing references. So here's your zaber blomme. Hi, thank you. There's a clean booty from the eye in, of your great opa. Oh, goddamn. For about, whenever you want. I was about to sample that now. Just to get a whiff here, you go, brother, just keep it fast. Are you uh, Are you rustig, bro? Do you stress? Do you overthink? Nah, definitely, bro. I mean, even aside from this pandemic years when, you know, the world is making us all fucking paranoid for everything. Don't go outside unless you wear a mask. Don't touch surfaces. Don't bump him only with your elbow. The elbow. I did the elbow yesterday. But I shot in my hands. They were like... <laughs> <laughs> Not actual human excrement. I just mean I had like things I was carrying. Oh, so I thought. They, yeah, you thought I wiped my hand with my ass. Like, finally, I got the scoop. Yes, yeah, I knew scoop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, so, so I had lot, uh, I'm like, lot of parcels I was carrying, and this bro was greeting me, and then I did the elbow, and I was like, oh, the elbow. Remember they taught works. us? Yeah, it still works. Remember they taught us that a few, yeah. you know, a few months ago, the elbow. A syrup. Yeah, but, <laughs> but um, I am rest like most of the time. Like, in terms of my interaction with people, I keep it very, uh, very short, very sweet. I don't like to overstay my welcome, you know, and I am an introvert, more or less. 
Yeah. I think that the extrovert side of me only comes out in a situation like this, in a setting like this, when you put me on stage, when you put me in front of lights, when you put me in front of a camera. It's like I know I must, how you can say, perform yes. to a certain extent. But for the most part, if I'm lumming with the Owens, if you're looking, watching movies or whatever the case, and I can do that for like then you feel rested. a very long amount of time, yeah. And I don't have to go out to the world and be seen and you know be on the, the front of any newspaper. I, I'm fine being in the shadows. So fully, so. The, the thing you've worked for, mm. the success and fame, is mm. it now, is it what you've for? Gewip het, or is that a deal for you where it amper bieke resent? Like meaning like some days you just want to be anonymous, go yeah. to the shop, not... I will say that I pictured fame in a different time. I looked at people who were fame... social media. Yeah, <laughs> that was the fuck up. Yeah, social media came and fucked fame. You're aware, but I pictured yeah. fame in a totally different time of my life and then when I started to get it, things was going a different way to be famous, you see? Yeah. And now, like, you can be famous for farting, you know? Or, yeah. or, 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 or like, doing cartwheels with your pants down or some shit, you know? Yeah. And that will make you as famous as me. We've been rapping for all those years and released all these mixtapes. Yeah, so and the done. crack of fame yeah, is not yeah, the yeah. same. Like, uh, 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 it doesn't really matter these days as to what standard of fame you're on because gimmicks or, 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 or something that get you in the game and give you, like, you know, that, uh, that approval and that, that worship from people sometimes. If you yeah. can sing like someone else now, it's also a good thing. If you can dress the part, if you can tattoo your face, if you can make your hair colorful or, I don't, I don't know, smoke weed for three yeah. hours straight, you can be famous. Yeah, true. You know? Shout out middle finger. Hey, I love him. John. I love him too. You're a good man, sir. You are a good man. Salute. A few good men. Send us a blom there, man. <laughs> And be scum. Yeah, please, sir. If you could be so kind. But thank you uh, um, for this one. What is the name? Do you have a name? Zauber Fluten. It's was... the big papa of the Lekken. Even to the good old days, this is a name, Swazi. You know, look at that one <laughs> name, Tari. Yeah, Roy Bad. Swazi. Yeah, I mean, skunk. It's my Vladimir Putin. It's a political He needs plan. to smoke his old. He up. does. He does. We need to get him He needs here. to smoke some Kalimta. Season three. Which you can also buy on zauberfluten.co.za. Love the plug. Yeah. Love the plug. Will you ever sell all? Will I? Yeah. I'm yeah. sure you have. I definitely have, yeah. Um, will I now, if there was a, how can I say? A uh, great profit margin. Oh, I was going to say paycheck, but that is exactly the profit words I was looking for, yes. And groot also. Um, groot is a lacquer word. I <laughs> love the groot. I like <laughs> and rrr. I love it. Because when I started doing it in songs, in music, you know, I realized that a lot of men sir, in rap especially had to either be fully Afrikaans to do it or wouldn't do it at all. Yes. See what I'm And I always wondered like, yo, is there a way to stretch this language of ours where a man can, hey, oh, and there is. pause. <laughs> is there a way to like expand on this, uh, on this culture, on all this words that we have that we are a bit embarrassed about? Like, look, I would say this for the colored men, sir. They don't want to hear words like dacha and gefaalik and all that good. It's because we are raised to carry ourselves in a certain way, especially if we want to be accepted in society. You know what I mean? So words like that is more or less going to get us uh, unemployed than yeah. employed. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> so, so we had to now, had to disguise all our, how you can say, harsh sounding words, you know, and make it sound a bit more easy on the tongue, on the palate, you know? So words like Dacha was never being really used yeah. in music and stuff like that. If it was, it was like in the underground, in the underground circles, in the underground scene. But it was never, you know, coming up to the mainstream to be yes. seen and heard by the masses. So I, so I felt like when I started writing and rapping, I just wanted to include some of those words that we don't sometimes uh, um, say out loud in, yes. in groups and crowds of people. I just wanted more people to, yeah, we speak, yeah, we're unique. It is also, you know, because we're the only ones feeling it. So yeah, a great profit margin. Great profit margin. That's what I would do if I. Equipping dag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I to hustle it, I want to make it on a on a mass scale. But I don't want to be standing outside, you know, selling bankies and making deliveries and pick, you know picking up the phone at all times of the yeah. night. as a man knocking outside. Hey, hey, come on, baby! I just need one, baby. No, yeah. Nah, 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 nah. We can't Get on the this. bicycle for a gram. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. I'm not gonna do that. In, <laughs> in these in these trying times that we're living now, there is no. No way on God's green no. earth, but I'm doing it. 
I feel like we need to speak about Dacha even more. We but definitely then, do. I feel you're work from... Do you think? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you think yeah. about that cone? So, so, yeah, so yeah, you wake and work there so great bad. This might last us, you know, a good few months, depending on how many people are going to smoke. If I'm going to smoke, it's going to last us maybe years. But uh, for some of my other ones out there, they will clear this thing, you know, in a matter of days. Bro. There's some serious stoners out there. No, thanks. And once again, shout out to Motherfunk, because I've seen him smoke mad cones. But, um, so, again, music video for Norm. Is that music video? I don't know. How much bong is that? No, I don't know. I... Is it, uh, 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 medically responsible? Of people to allow him to do that. Yeah, his friends and family should have tried to speak him out of it, maybe, you know. But um, the weed has been with me for years. I don't know how to actually escape it sometimes. In Ramadan, I'm clean. Uh, 40 days, you know, I don't... I don't Is it Murlak? No, nah, not really. Uh, uh, it's not a mental. Yeah. You, you, you know, it's mental exercises. So you tell yourself what you need and what you don't need, or what exactly. you want and what you don't want, you know? So you have to have that power at the end of the day over your, your desires, you know? I temptation. think just like you people, athletes practice mm. their craft or you practice rapping, mm. we as human beings have to practice not getting what we want. It's a very toxic thing, so feeling it's... like you can, you should always get what you want. Yeah, no, it is, you're right, bro. So I actually take your shit and I'm like, yeah, there's, a, there's some vein in the cast, there's mm. some zol there, but mm. tonight, mm. I'm just going to spend here some time with my gedachtes. Mm. I'm going to practice mm. not getting what I want. <laughs> and then I become <laughs> cock good at that. Yeah. Then yeah. when I don't get what I want, I just go, ach, that's lekker, man. Mm. Lekker. A lot of people need to practice that, uh, um, how you can say that, that training. Because yeah. in today's time, we, uh, um, there's a lot of entitlement going around. A lot of entitlement. Yeah. Where people feel so entitled, they even want you to share the exact same opinion as them. Why do you think that is? It's the same reason why they try and convince you not to swim upstream, or the same reason why they tell you to not take the road less traveled, and the same reason why they want you all to, you know, fit into the cookie-cutter sound of music, or, yeah. you know, we must all wear you know, the feel of disruptor at the same time, you know, it's, it's, it's basically just something that gives people the validation of knowing that we all in it together and we all kind of following the same pattern. So it makes no, people feel comfortable. And safe, that's yeah. just, uh, that can not understand, that can yeah. be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but and now so in, uh, yeah, it's a bad apple. Upstream oh, fun. brother, they're going to convince you your whole life that what you're doing is wrong and it's but a it's mistake. But it's actually... It's, we should all be swimming and swerving yeah, in different I swear directions. Here. You know what I mean? I yeah. made it. They, you didn't drive here, did you? No, we, so I swear, man, but all the way through the fallopian tube bar, I connected with the egg. Fallopian moves. tubes is in the, the, the Look, penis. we're not going to go into depth here about the, the inner workings of a woman, you know what I mean? But I'm just oh, saying. Oh, the fallopian tube yeah. is in the woman. <sighs> but catch up with me, PJ. I've been there. You know what I mean? I've, I've been, been there. there too. I know we all have. But, <laughs> but, but that, you, you start off in a sack, though. Yeah. This is how true. the life actually mm. begins. And it's mad because I'm starting to, you know, my, uh, 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 like grasp the concept of the sack. <laughs> and grasp the concept of, of where I came from, yeah, the elbows, <laughs> of where I came from. And, and it's mad to think how life. Grasp the concept of where you came from. It never ends. That's the thing, bro. Grasping, coming, arriving, going, going. You and know? then you're here for, if you're lucky. If you're lucky. 70 or 80 years. Yeah. Oof. And then they tell, time, tell you. Bro. That's a long time. Is it a long time? It's a long time if you're going to live a cuck life. If you're not going to live a life that you enjoy for 70 years, then it's going gonna, it's gonna to feel like you were here for 100 years. <laughs> it's gonna be like you were here for way fucking longer. Bro. That's it, true. You know what I'm saying? But look at me, I'm 30 years old now. The last 10 years of my life, I've been doing something I love and it went by like that. Bro. Yeah. You know, I remember when I got into this shit, I was 18, 19 years old. I'm looking, I'm 30, I'm checking to myself. And then bro. you had the hunger. Yeah, nah, nah, but I'm still hungry. I, I'm still waking up every day and, and feeling um, rejuvenated at times when people hear my shit for the first time. Yes. There's people in the world right now watching this, I don't know who the fuck I am. 
They never heard of me before. They're gonna go cake down. They're gonna go and there we go. So they're gonna be first timers, virginity broken. Yes. When as soon as they watch that one, you know, the insertion. It goes. It goes in. I remember. Hey, take it. That's what it takes. I'm taking it. Take it. Take it. I remember. Yeah. But I like it. I like it. Take it to the head. Yeah, take it. Yeah. Take it. Take it. <laughs> but Mike, there's, Take it. there's some, and I must just cut off here. There's sometimes I see pictures of myself holding a mic. And it's quite phallic. If someone had good Photoshop God. skills, they could really. My bro, thank God no one else thinks like that. Well, after this, who the fuck knows, bro? There might be, you know, hey, mic dick pics put the, just put popping the up pics everywhere. Here in the comments, we want to see those mic dick pics. There we go. Let's make that stuff trend. I shouldn't, I, I shouldn't. Because it helps that. us keep our egos in check. Does it? Does it, bitch? Because my ego is going to be fucked when I see a cock in my face. No, oh, it won't. Do you ever struggle with your ego? Uh, not really, but I don't try and take myself too serious. That's the thing. The balance of the king and the clown energy. And we have a mutual friend. God, I've man. looped a long pikey with. What's the line for loops? Oh, boy to melo, molecane. Stogie oh, tea. great man. Great man. Another and he one. A few to... good men. Jack Nicholson, Tom Cruise and Demi Moore. What a movie. Yes, what does he have to say? Look, there's a lot of verstakkings going on here. It's a fucking with me today. Mensen moet Google as Lyric Kakko kijk. Okay, guys. Stay. Owens. Pirate Bay. Oh, sorry. Pirate Bay. We're not exactly. allowed to. We're not allowed. No, yeah. we are allowed. Okay. There okay. are no rules. We'll fucking okay, swim so against the stream. Yeah, we'll yeah, Pirate yeah, yeah. Bay while smoking dacha, photoshopping dick pics. The works. Yeah, okay. There's no more rules. Back to uh, back to me. Sorry, yeah. Back to that stogie. So, um, he once said to me, Yes, what you are list for us all, eh? Nah, it's the stogie, bro. Oh, yes, that's a stogie. <laughs> Carry on, what did you say? The same essence or energy or quality mm -hmm. that enables you to be great, mm -hmm. is, that is the same energy that has, holds the potential to your downfall, to give you that ego. The same thing that gives you the confidence mm. to get on stage and do what you do the way you do it Mm. That's the same thing. I'm trying to concentrate. Oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Forgive me, brother. Forgive Re me. Riyad. Riyad. Yeah. yeah, yeah, forgive Kalmierda. me. Calmierda. I'm starting to see that oak in the back of the class. And pretty soon you're going to start to see the mania. Yeah. I <laughs> go, Riyad. <laughs> nah, the, yeah, he was a moment. But yes, the same energy, <laughs> the same energy that makes you. Great. Uh -huh. That energy has the capacity to also give you. The ego. Mm. It's duality, I think. Harry. Okay, I got an example for you. Since we were talking about me being a class clown. But I'm going to link the two, don't worry. Yeah, I no, promise. I love a good segue. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, but I make the example of with Owens. And this is a, you know, this is a common problem that I notice these days. If you were in... I like this crack pose. You're great, because I'm, I'm feeling it also, but now I also feel like I'm lecturing the Owens a bit too deep and I do this sometimes. Lecture the Owens, that was You know what I mean? Professor Xavier. That's Xavier, these men. So. I'm reading your mind. So, I can, by the way, I don't want to interrupt. I read mind. Nax and I, we can prate in our gedachtes. Who? Nax, he's... Um, someone else you own. <laughs> he's always here with Hello, me. Hello, Ruf Holmes and Youngster. That's where it starts going. Start, you see why we prat in our gedachtes and yeah. why we prat mingles. If you prat mingles, it. your phone can't listen to you. Mm, ah, and so the wires also. So can't plug ads ah, and cock. And, like and if you prat <laughs> mingles and dinge and this you, is mingles you premium. go too fiddig. We don't do ads with mingles. Premium mingles and gedachtes. straight to the town. Not even the wire can work. Yeah, no sir. Um, but so I don't lose track. Yes. If you... Never had any sort of uh, popularity in high school times, or you never had any form of, um, how you can say, I don't know, success. You know, if you didn't win medals or mm. trophies, or even the kindness. If you weren't quiet with the, with the ladies. When you say kindness, I mean just ladies. for the, uh. the, some of the cake is out there. Okay. He's meaning ladies. I'm meaning ladies, yeah. Okay, your children. When there's not a me. hard D. No, it's kinnis. Kinnis. K i n n a s. Was it kinnis? Yeah, there we go, bro. I see mingle spellings, you know. Yeah. So, so, <laughs> so if you didn't have those kinds of moments in your life, in your upbringing, yes. Before you were quote unquote an artist or musician, rapper, whatever you are, and you didn't get that, you know, 
and you come from a time when nobody really looked at you or nobody really like rated you high yeah. or you weren't you know the guy to go to and and the popular jock or the you know the leader of the rugby team or if you didn't do those kinds of things if you didn't have that feeling before you know of being on a stage and people clapping for you and you like the focus and then you start rapping and then you get all that because now it's amplified by fucking a hundred, you know what I mean? Yeah. Now everyone is shouting for you and your name is in lights and now the kernels is too much kernels now, you know? So, so, if, so if you never had that moment before and you only receive it when you are somebody or you have some yeah. sort of a title that's important now, then it's going gonna, it's gonna to swallow you. Yes. Because you've never felt this, this kind of admiration from, from people, from crowds of people, you know? Now, a man like me, because I at least had the, the humor aspect down, I was witty, I was quick with my comebacks and good yes. When the teachers used to gate me, I used to gate the teachers. You know, sometimes it would upset them to the point where they have to like, just get me out because now the class is... Because you be, gated them. Um, you know, I mean, the class is not unfocused. The comebacks was too good yeah. with me sometimes. So, at that point, I realized that even if I were to become something of this, because I obviously always had, like you said, did I hope for this? I did hope for this. Yeah. I did want this to happen. So I was thinking about it the whole time happening. And I thought, you know, if I do get this, I'm not going to let it consume me. I'm not going to become somebody new that nobody else knows. The only thing that's going to be new about me is that I actually have a profession this time. You know, I have, yeah. a, I have a spun, basically. Spun means work. So... I say that because in high school I didn't look like somebody who was really doing work. I didn't look like a man that was going to be successful. Did you do good at school? No, I didn't do good at school. Did you school, like school? No. I didn't like school either. Do you have a message for these teachers? No, I'm not really. Look, I do, <laughs> now you know because I do school tours now. So I okay. go back to the school. So you don't want to tell them like... I can't do a contradictory like, thing where... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, because I already tell them that when I'm at the school. I speak to the teachers. Oh, you go do it face to face. I go do it face to face, bro. I tell the teachers like, look here. You, you, you're not going to tell these kids what I'm going to tell them. You saw sugarcoating it, you saw sprinkling on a little bit of, you know, uh, dandelions and this is like a year now, because why you want them to easily accept this, yeah. you know, the statement that you're making. I'm going to tell them the harsh reality because they're already experiencing it. Yes. You think they haven't gone through this shit. You think they don't, you know, live real life and they walk outside, but they, they live in life. Yes. Already, you know. I, I know because if I did it at their age, that's fucking 10 years, 15 years ago, they must be further. Yeah, they surely. Must be more advanced, Especially you know? now. There we go. So my point is just that the same thing that makes you great makes you a clown, yeah, but if you were never a clown before and great before, then you can never truly experience it you know, when you get into an industry like this, you know, and I had my clown moments and I had my great moments before. So now, and not only now, but even when I started out, I didn't let the lights and I didn't let all these things influence me and distract me and make me, you know, hypnotized by all yeah. the trappings of success and, you know, all the, the shit that comes with it, the perks and the bonuses. I couldn't allow that to take me off the path because like I say, I prayed for it, I hoped for it, now I got it. So why fuck it up with something like this so so foolishly? You know what I mean? So a lot of men lose that because I, 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 I feel like they never had pretty girls. I feel like they never had, um, you know, much awards and rewards in their life. I feel like maybe they didn't have um, a, a social status. So you can't be a king without being a clown. At some point you have to have been down. Yeah. And uh, you have to have been a soldier to lead the army. And what would you say is the biggest misconception mm -hmm. that people have about you? They think I'm not a clown. They think I'm a well, clown. Well, I'm happy to clear that up. I'm, I'm glad that we started <laughs> we can... in this light-hearted, yeah. you know, humorous manner, my bro. Because at the end of the day, you can ask all the money that's around me and it's worth me. It's... There's a lot of money in this room. I just want to let the people know at home. There's four. But... You can ask the that's money that's around money. That's plenty. You can, you can ask the money that's around <laughs> me that, I mean, we spend most of our time laughing, yeah. smiling, happy. You know what I mean? It's not all serious. Cops at night, grims and aggressive. So like, but you got, do you have, have you got any beef with anyone? Yeah, there's always beef, you know, but that's also how you feed into it. Yes. You know, no pun intended, you know. It's like, you 
you constantly being baited in today's time. You know, people just yeah. throwing out little, you know, subtle jabs and insults and comments so that you can also not lose your shit, you know, and go off your rocker. As long as I keep smoking this, as long as I keep level-headed, as long as I keep the same Owens around me with the same energy, you know what I mean, then I'll be all right and I'll never fall for those kinds of things. But for the most part, I just think that you have to have had some sort of a life experience before you get into this industry. Yeah. I had Owens that took me for the push also when I was in high school. You know what I mean? Yes. And then I fell for it. And then I saw where that got me. And now I'm here, and now they're doing it, but now they're sitting behind phones and they think they're slick. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's actually sleep. easier now to avoid it because they're yeah. not in my face. Back then it was harder because this is money that you're walking past every day. Or you're walking home and this is the money that walk home with you. Or you walk into the shop and this is the bra outside. Yeah. You know, so then it was a bit harder to avoid stupid situations like that. Now, they just, doing they're faceless. The face. I mean, it's I don't mm -hmm. mind. Yes, you were speaking big facts now. This is actually a big facts, Mike. Is it? I thought I it was a like big could... dick, Mike. Well, you see now. Pause. Pause. Mm. Yeah, carry on though. Yes. This is, uh, I, I feel like it's the only way we need to well, we need to converse, we need to have these chats, we need to have these open forums where we can discuss the real shit. This is what know. prating is all about. Prating, lystering, mm. dunking, dunning, <laughs> besefing. <laughs> Mingles, I love it. I yeah. love it. We need to open, oh yes, that's was the other thing I was thinking. While we're on a topic, a dictionary. Yo. Slang dictionary okay. with all our slang words from A to Z. Now, I know it's going to be hard because we have to go from the Western Cape all the way up to Joburg. Because the, the people can I open my eyes. Oh, I can't open my eyes. Yes. <laughs> but you were still, but you were still close to me. Nice, it was a nice moment. Nice though. Um, because I feel like slang varies from you know place to place. Yes. And we must decide are we going to include all. Is it just going to be a, a slang dictionary for everyone? Across the board, or we're gonna be specific and say like, nah, this cops are tall, this jobs are tall, this Pretoria's, you know what I mean? Like, how are we gonna yes. do it? But I do think at some point we need to do this. And if somebody wanna steal my ideas, they look, you know, I don't mind. I, I kind of want somebody else to do it so that I don't even sit there with a fucking person and do it myself. <laughs> but if we do end up doing it, maybe you know, like a dictionary, it's gonna be fucking successful. Because we need to like update that, the tall. Because yes. Afrikaans. But, but, what do you think about Afrikaans a purist? Yeah, what do you think that is? But why? Look, what are they clinging on to by trying to be so heilig oor It's It's just the preservation of tradition and it's old minds that's still stuck in a time that we're no longer in. So that is why like, so, like I, I bring it back again to something like Dacha. In the old times, you, it's, a, it's as bad as, uh, as cocaine, as yes. crack, you know what I mean? Just to say the word dacha. Yeah. And in our time now... It's lacquer. Oh, we've got so much nicknames for this shit. Weed and boom and zol and skate. Papagai sly. Never heard of that one, but you... Wacky backy. Once again, no, but you see where I'm going with Yes. You, you feel me? So, so with, all, with all these little, <laughs> with all these little <laughs> terms, yeah. I mean... Why are we not making music? Why is it not on t-shirts? Why are we not selling books about this shit and naming the book Dacha and hey, this is the street terms and this yes. is what it's like and this is who sells it and this is how it gets done and you know what I mean? Like these kinds of things need to be done now because we're watching shit like Netflix, we're watching Showmax and they're doing it. Yes. Once again, clocking us. We should be... We should we be should capitalizing. Be, we should actually be smoking Dacha right now. But we won't, because we on camera and wearing wires. Well, I I think I I I might. You, but you might, okay. I'll I actually took a little edible that's starting to ah this take makes thick now. So much sense to me right now. Yeah, Sounds now we can it. now you can trust me more. Mm, that's true, true. If you start sweating, though, I'm gonna be nervous. No, 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 I don't sweat. I don't sweat. I'm very calm. <laughs> The edible that they ate was the You know that times when like the showrooms kick in and kick motherfuckers just start sweating but they still keep going, Nah, I can't take it. I'm going to get it. Clap your mushroom. What are you? Is it, uh, it's funny when the, yeah, the, the, yeah, yeah. the window with shrooms when the fort kicks in, yeah, where every level of anxiety that you could possibly feel what happens? just hits you all at once. Yeah. I can't decide whether I want to sit or stand. Mm. So I sit. This happened to me once. I took shrooms. I'm like, no, oh, call him, call him. Just breathing through it, and I'm like, nah, you know, actually, wait, we'll fuck it. I don't want to uh, sit now. Uh, 
And then I stand, I'm like, no, oh, man, don't give your mind that kind of power. Sit, <laughs> sit, be calm. Be calm. And I look at a painting, I'm like, that thing is going to freak me out. <laughs> I take the painting off. Uh. And I put it down, and I'm like, now I'm going to get freaked out that I took that thing off because now it's looking away and I'm going to think, about, hang on, wait, wait, painting goes back up. Fuck, I looked at it up close. I stared at it too long. Sit down. Okay, I'm going to go outside. Whoa, it's hectic outside. <laughs> now I'm going back inside. And then suddenly, suddenly you just go, yeah, like, bro, I'm feeling fucking grateful now. <laughs> I'm feeling so much awe, yeah. so much gratitude. Yeah. Can you believe we are living on this ball with <laughs> vodka and fools? Notice the fools, dude, they're constantly singing. <laughs> Isn't that fucking beautiful? <laughs> and then I realized like that gratitude and feeling of awe mm. is always there. It's not the mushrooms that's making it be there. It's always there. Mushrooms just taking the, away the thing that's standing in the way from it in your normal day-to-day -day state. That was a great description of the experience and trip of shrooms, but also a disclaimer at the bottom of the screen will appear now. All kids out there thinking about trying mushrooms for the first time. Don't. Maybe not now. Don't. Yeah. I think it's, it's important to acknowledge it's very, very, very powerful stuff. Hey, we're not talking about the kind of shit that they throw in on pizzas these days. Oh, no. The other day I was jogging and I saw a mushroom on the floor. And I thought about, because it, it was a perfect mushroom, bro. Like one of the Mario brothers. Oof. Motherfucker was just chilling alone. So there wasn't like a whole sea around. It was just him by himself. Single guy and he was and calling I just, you. I thought, I thought, I wonder. Thanks. You know, I didn't, I, I didn't stop and stare at that and have a moment. You know, it wasn't one of those, but I just wondered. I just thought, you know what? I wonder. If I take this Child thing, this thing, I wonder if I eat it, what the fuck would I Change the whole course of your life going forward. That's my job the wrong way, maybe. That's my be yeah. running to Transkei <laughs> or some shit. Like. <laughs> no, mushrooms is powerful stuff. Mm. I don't think you should go looking for it. I think psychedelics will find you when you're That's ready to receive. the reason why I didn't want to fuck with that one. Because receive. I thought, nah, this might be some, you know, uncharted territory that I go into with this one. Who knows? I don't want to... So you've tripped on a shroom or two before in your left tank. I have. And sometimes when you take the shroom, it feels like when Mario actually goes down the... the Gutter. But that's the most meaningful ones. That's those, yeah. I don't call them bad trips. I call them challenging trips. Because mm. you are challenging <laughs> something within yourself. Yeah, he has a very eloquent way of bringing across the most fucked up shit that you can think of. <laughs> yeah, I had a challenging trip in which the dragons were smelling on my anus. So, pause, pause, pause. Luckily, we have the majesty of editing on our side. I think we should leave the dragon and anus line in fuck that. They need to feel every part of this in the anus. Yeah. That happens sometimes. Yeah, now it is. If I, you were uh, listening to a lofi track that I make it lacquer for your boda uh, <laughs> the whole day and now you chow a mushroom, something's gonna. Yeah, no, maybe it, like. The subconscious of the boda is still gonna be it's there. It's looping, looping, and, then and you're like. Something oh, lacquer stop, also. Stop, yeah. And, eventually it's, Ooh, and then you're being entered, you know what I mean? Uh, Enter the dragon. That's what Bruce Lee was talking about. You need to reverse it now, where the dragon enters you. And that's just disturbing on. So many levels. levels. I mean, now you think of the movie Dungeons and Dragons, you wonder what the fuck was going on in a dungeon. Slankies and Lierkies. <laughs> what the fuck? What were they doing down there? You Who know? made that game? It's a board game, but hey, I don't think they were bored when they were playing that no. game. <laughs> Sorry, I think you should move away from the sexual stuff. Yes, mm. don't worry. It we'll, ed we'll, we'll, edit, we'll, edit, we'll edit that out, I think. <laughs> It's disturbing. Dunking. West Nagshi. When the first foot was created, we had no way of explaining it because there was only one foot. <gasps> if you stack one cake, on another cake, it's still only one cake. <laughs> if you think about it, the only difference between surfing and snowboarding is the temperature of the vault. <laughs>
Why is it that it's called stairs inside, but steps outside? <sighs> Why does glue stick to everything except the inside of its bottle? <gasps> You know when you sometimes smelling a sampi you uh. gets you dunking uh. naturally <laughs> and you start to wonder uh. this conscience uh. what is it uh. this conscience where does it come from you know what I mean when I say conscience not conscious rap no. or consciousness conscience that voice that you can't be here that's telling you, no, 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 not that, don't do that. Or you have to do this. Mm. Like, but I don't want to, but you have to. What is that? I wish I took one of those edibles with you before. But um... hey, it's never too late, yeah. <laughs> Great old mint. Can we sell them now? Yeah. Is this it? Gifts are just flowing. I love it. Gifts of yeah, the here's kiss. another one. <laughs> I just want to see how it looks. They're but, very light. Uh, I find that edibles are always too strong. Oh, yeah. And they'll break your heart. So I and my team have developed this beautiful edible. Van Pletsen. Yes. Mm. Sorry, carry on. Yeah, the edible. Krutel mints. If you're looking for something a bit more stronger, these are the Naxxas gummies. <laughs> Hey, we all got to make our geld one way or another. Don't we, right. don't we all. You like geld? I love it. Groot geld. There we go. Mm. Salute to geld. Ooh, this one's not fucking strong. Yeah. What yeah, did you say? No. This one is stronger than the other one. Yeah, this is the... This is the light stuff. This one is the... Yeah, yes. This one. Yeah, but this one is the... I don't know who the fuck I am. Stuff. That's the Nexus gummies. He's got more of a tolerance, so... Oh, it even... But yeah, no, the smell is but immediately don't pungent. But that's the question. Oh yeah, the consciousness, People, where the does it kids come are from? caking now and they want to know what... Yeah. The kids want to know I how say... much this costs. That's what the fuck is happening right now. But yes, there's a whole dead over I'll there. I'll hold this for you. Um, what do you what? think that, that conscience Man. is? I think it's your... You know, it's your own... Um, I will not say guilt sometimes, but it's your own knowing of right and wrong. It's your own awareness of yourself also. You know, if you know certain shit, is not for you and you still do it. Yeah. It's kind of your own fault. You know what I mean? Because you knew better, but you didn't listen to the conscience. So there's layers to yourself. Mm. There's not just one being or thing that's in the year. Yeah. There's all these layers. Mm. That's why they can argue. And when thoughts are just you listening in on the debate. Yeah. They say you're only crazy if you answer yourself. Do you answer yourself when you speak to yourself? <laughs> you're speaking to me now, so it's fine. Okay. I thought that was a trick question. No, 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 it's not. Do you answer yourself? It's fine to speak sometimes, to Sometimes, but I think sometimes it's okay to, to acknowledge like, mm. okay, listen, Grotont, you're a little bit crazy right now, mm. but this is also temporary. Mm. Just no, like everything. See, that's a statement. That's fine. I'm making yeah. statements myself. I'm saying when you, do you ask yourself a question and then answer yourself also? Well, I think people do that in their thoughts. Yeah. All the time. Uh -huh. Like, why do you... Do you think when you're lying there on the couch, do you think, fuck it, I'm hungry now. Should I maybe get up and eat some yogurt? Mm. Anyway. Yeah. Ah, too lazy now. Mm. Well, who's having that conversation? You see, because it might go on for too long. So like, what do I actually lose for? Okay, if I take that bread out there again and I warm it up. But no one thinks like that. Bread. Do you just go? Uh, indeed, but then you get the overthinkers. And you're the one of those. Hey, I'm one of them. You know what I mean? The overthinking, that shit can drive you Like a lot crazy. of artists are overthinkers. We are. You know, I think that's why we found this outlet as our escape. And when you make a track, mm. does it just come fast? It's like you hear the beat and mm. the lyrics start to come. Because, or do you sit and you kind of like go over the lines and you come back and like, mm. fuck it, I can do this better. I can yeah, do this yeah. better. I used to do the... Whatever comes out, you know, I just write down. And then now that I know there's Kinnis watching, Kinders and Kinnis. With a D and Kinnis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that I have to be a bit more mindful and careful. And also I want to try and push myself to come up with better shit. 
You know what I mean? I just want yeah. to take the first idea that pops into my brain as if that's the, the greatest one. You know, maybe I can um, extend it and maybe I can take longer, you know, in these days and times, even though we live in the microwave era where people like, expect it now. Yeah. It's also other thing, like, uh, like people's going to comment and say, like, oh, where's the music or where's the new stuff or where's this and where's that? And I'll be like, I just dropped the song last week. Man. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's, it's already awful. old. Yeah, it, it, no, it's gone, bro. It's because Netflix is releasing 15 episodes yeah, all at once. Recently updated and I'm not on it. So I just try and figure out ways now to like, I can say, um, entertain people through visuals, music, merchandise, because I know that I can't just give them music all the time. I can't just give them videos all the time. I can't just make clothes all the time. So I try and like do an even so balance. Give them dach. Maybe one day. Willingly. If you want to plant. They ask me for it, you know, so I'm not, you know, forcing it upon anyone else. But yes, no, I. I'll I, smoke a Y Gen strain. It's called Hygiene. Ooh. <laughs> okay, okay. What? Yeah. Off topic. So, yeah, okay, go. Think, think more about the, the frog, or what is the conscience? Because I'm going to give you three options the, later. Because he's eating the edibles and I didn't have it, so he's now in tune with the, the stars they and the moon and okay. the quasars and his outer body is having experience now. I'm having a good experience, experience here. here. Yeah, I know, yeah. your feet are sweating, you know what I mean? Like, it's all happening at once. Now I'm that you pointed out, my foot are all kind of warm. And I'm just here sober as shit, man. What do you, what do Don't you worry, mean? this is why we need the balance. I will come with the weirdness and you can be the filter. Yeah, I suppose. Okay. And then the audience kicking. They enjoy a little bit of both. Well, we yeah. Hope so. Or they're like, yes, that oak's a clown. And I go mm. like, yeah, I know, I don't care. <laughs> so. But back to the consciousness. The conscience, it's, mm. is it either your highest possible self, meaning that throughout the course of your life, if you always keep listening to your conscience, mm. when you're older, you will be the best possible version of who you can be. Whereas if you violate that conscious and you go against it every single time, mm. you will become the worst possible version that you could be. And if you keep listening to it, the best. So is this conscience, and the more you listen, the more clear mm. that connection to that voice becomes. Is it your highest possible self or is it perhaps God? I'm glad you brought God into it because that was going to be my question to you. I was going to be like, do you believe that there's a God? And I say this, what's the gut? What's the gut? What's the gut? Because when people say, trust your gut, listen to your gut, what's the gut? Is the gut the conscience? Is the gut the enlightened version of yourself? Uh, Is the gut the smarter and wiser version of yourself? This, the part that knows but because you're afraid to listen to that because it's kind of like the first answer that you're receiving from yourself, you try and challenge it, but like, ah, it can't be that. So I'm gonna go this way instead. I think the gut is you know, a small window where it's like initial first gut instinct. Sometimes you think so hard about something that you can't- Make a decision. Yeah, no? your gut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So thinking is good, but don't yeah, think so hard, that you, hard yeah. that you can't hear your gut. Mm. Gut is just our initial gut reaction, like, Nah. Mm. Conscience is this thing that's like... It's like considering all the variables. Yeah, and, and it just, uh, it's like a higher knowing mm. that somehow also lives inside this fly sock. Yeah. Or maybe outside <laughs> and we just remote controlling these fly sucker yeah. from somewhere else. Nah, look, I think God definitely gave us all, you know, free will and he gave us all the intelligence and the power you know, to unlock within ourselves. We have to find it, that's the thing, you know. And if you find it, salute, quiet. And if you didn't, uh, it's, gonna, it's gonna be a bit of, of a rough journey for you out there. <laughs> but um, I, I would well, say- Well, then you yeah. can at least uh, take mushrooms and hey, try and become Khariyat. All hope is not lost. Yeah. But um, yeah, I would definitely say it's given to you and given to all of us, but only some listen to it, only some realize it and identify it. And once you do, I think that you're able to make smarter decisions in life or maybe more calculated decisions in life. Life isn't all about calculating decisions, or that's the thing. Sometimes you have to take risks, Karnal, you know what I mean? Karnal? Karnal. No, that's from the movie Blood In, Blood Out. Once again, the references. You like movies. I thought it was going to go start checking this shit. I do, I do. I think I was educated through uh, TV a lot of my life, you know, so. And magazines? Magazines also definitely. Which um, magazine? I bought more rap magazines. So. Uh, yeah, rap magazine. which one would you say is the GOAT? 
The source. The source, rap pages or vibe? For me, it was the source because I grew up during that era. The source. You know? Vibe, I, I liked, but vibe also didn't have enough for me. It went to a lot of different uh, uh, topics within the magazine. It doesn't always stick into like hip hop. Yes. Sometimes vibe went to R&B and went to cars and went to like you know, all kinds of crazy shit, which is fine. Okay. But the source, I felt like was always on the current hip hop you know, um, constraints and topics and, you know, so issues. So, would you rather have a five mic album or unsigned hype? Ooh! I'll take the five mic. It's harder to get the five mics than it is to fucking be an unsigned hype, bro. Okay, I'll okay. take the five mics because I, I, I think maybe I only saw like a handful of Owens. In the times I bought Source magazines, I only saw a handful of Owens get five mics, bro. And, and, and then there was even an issue where they would come back and revisit and they're like, nah, the ones taking like, nah. one mic away. Oh, wait, oh, wait, they also want to come and see again, like, does this album really deserve five mics? Oh, did the four and a half actually deserve five? go back into the past. Yeah, they go back into the archives, Did not stand bro. the test of time. Nah, did not have longevity. That they realized, look, maybe we're a bit biased on this one. Yeah, we need to give them five for this shit. And there were others where they were like, hey, you know what, maybe this one actually deserved three and a half. I feel and like there's like a lot of rappers, but especially American rappers, that mm. has like a ton of hype. Mm. And then people, the album comes out and they immediately like, fuck, it's a classic, it's yeah. a classic. Yeah. yeah I, I, I don't want to cut you all the time, but I have to say this. No, this, this is, is important is... shit. This is imp like you said, spitting facts. We might as well give him no, some facts. No, spit facts. Spit facts. Give him this dick here and put it in my facts. mouth. <laughs> Sorry, um, what I will say, I, I no longer want to be referred to as a goat, a legend, or I'm going to go with King or something. I, I, I mean, goat. A goat sounds like you're a fucking mountain bock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and all these terms were once upon a time, like, you know, the it thing to be. That's what the be all and end all. Everybody wanted to end up as a goat. To be the goat. And the legend, you know what I mean? And, 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 and classic. Let me just say for the more conservative cake, a belief. goat. Greatest of all time. There we go. Mm. Started by LL Cool J. You'll see now that fact I didn't know. LL Cool J is the man that invented So he is the goat. He's the fucking goat, you know what I mean? They can't be all these fucking goats. Man, Eventually bro. then if this everyone's gonna the kraal, goat, you know it's gonna be a kraal of Owens. Then we're gonna have to put a bun and then Eventually you're gonna be the... And you know what I mean? Not enough place to go around for everybody. But I will say though that those terms, especially classic, because when you said classic, that's when I realized it. People call albums classic that they've been out for a week. Yeah. People call rappers legends that they've you know, only been rapping for like five, you know, five years or something like that. They're legends now. Yeah. Know? And Kings, that's why I said in the beginning of the um, the King statement, I don't like to even say it because nowadays everyone is kings and queens, you know, yeah. the women are queens, the brass is kings, sometimes the women are kings also, you know what I mean? So I like just calling everyone my king. Yeah, no, the, you know, the Ayas taught us that, man. That's the, that's the Rastafari way of life also, you know, just to acknowledge everybody's importance and royalty on the earth. And yes. it's true, bro, you know, if you look at it like that is our definitions and so forth. But just when it comes to our, our music and our craft and what we create, I feel like now you're matching us up with, uh, as I said, with guys who do cartwheels and guys who do, you know, little YouTube videos yes. and TikTok challenges. And I'm not saying they aren't important, but I'm saying to compare them to people that's really out here, you know, trying to paint, you know, the greatest pictures ever yeah. made and then release it to it's the world. It's a lot world. more noise yeah, to you know, cut through it's because a bit of, of social media. And, yeah, it's a bit of injustice. I think it's the best and worst time to be famous. Why is it the best? The kindness. <laughs> uh, goodness, bro. Not even the fucking goodness because I mean when I watch these old documentaries of like your Easy E's and your Rick James and Eddie Murphy and when they were all famous, it yeah. seemed like the goodness was always a fact. Yes, Eddie Murphy in that red leather suit Ooh, when he was like delirious, my bro. Yes, that is you the funniest see, shit. You could see that the goodness was lined up. Too much but that limos, Thank you. Too much skin. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I don't feel like the kindness was ever a different thing, but I just feel like the the uh, the chance to be famous now, the the heights that you can reach. For example, in those years, you were a rapper and maybe you had other business ventures. Maybe. Yeah. But for the most part, you were just a rapper. rapper. You had a, a label that, you know, you can say, you kind of sorted out all that other shit for you and got you little endorsement deals and all these kinds of other extras. 
but in today's time now, you the you the manager, you the yeah. you know the videographer, you the stylist, you the you have you the makeup artist, you all that shit now. Yeah. You're, you're running the label, you're distributing the music also yourself. So now if you become famous, I feel like your rewards are a bit bigger, kind of, because you wear many hats. So you kind of benefit from all of those streams. But you also burn out a lot quicker. You burn out a lot faster, definitely, because like we say, it's the microwave. So if you put things too long in the microwave, the motherfucker's gonna pop at some point. Yeah. So the best time, because you you can literally get famous doing anything, the the chances of you getting famous are easier, even though there's a shitload of people that you have to compete with. I still do feel like in today's time, people are easily impressed. You don't have to give them a hundred. Anymore, you can give them like a good 50 to maybe someone who has your talent. You can function on 60 70 percent, and they'll still, and they will be, still like, be fuck it, you, fuck that oh. you understand. But there's other men who can just give that bare minimum, and people will like still eat it up and be like, Oh no, it's a goat, he's a goat, he's a legend, you know, he's, a, will, goat. he's a goat, <laughs> you know, the, the, the fucking legend, but it's smelling blood, yeah, but, it's, <laughs> but at that's the end a good of the line. day, smelling blood. Do you want to do a freestyle? I don't. But really, do you feel like I'm ask you this? What I do want to, I do want to, what I do want to add to it is just those terms: goat, classic, legend, uh, king. It's harsh. I just feel like it's a lot for some of us, and some of us don't always deserve. No, true. What about Aster? Yeah, definitely, I'll take Aster. You're an Aster. Aster, he says it all the time. It's one of Jerry's favorite words. Aster. You know? he's I like people, a... He's telling people on the phone, this motherfucker's from America, we're having Zoom calls. <laughs> yeah, no, Aster, I'll see you later. Like, Fuck, I, What's an Aster? I don't even think they know what it is. <laughs> and look, that's another one. That's for the dictionary. That's for the dictionary, for our slang dictionary. Yes, Aster. Aster. We need to explain them all the ways you can use it also, not just iron. Let me try and do a... Salad. Here we go. My brew, you with Leister. When you're prating with an Aster. Speak up, don't flyster. Mm. Oh, I must be, no, 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 I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna finish that one. That's, that's all you. Is that not that's good? You. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 you started it, so you finish it. One more, come on, you're right there. I, <laughs> I like my water with no chase, so God damn it. And that's the thing, you need to, you need to be able to rhyme the English with Africa. Yes. yes. And that is how you do the perfect Mingles rap. Yes, you're good at that. You see what I mean? So it's like also me. I'm trying to get you to do I know you're baiting me. And like I said, I don't fall for the shit anymore. I used to, but I don't do it anymore. Look, the thing. The what thing if I lay down a... What beat? That project was here. Oh, what beat is that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what, what fucking beat is that? Hey, 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 hey. Had to spit the freestyle to get the point. And yes, indeed, I'm sitting with you in a big joint. How do I do what I do? Shout out to the skanks. Not all the kinners are high like the lava lamps and they turn green, kind of like those colors. In case you didn't know that the nickname is Youngin. Now you know how it goes, girl. I don't want to force it in because it is very hard, like porcelain. <laughs> oh, shit! Drop the mic! Yes, you didn't even have to drop it for drop yourself. The mic. The mic fell by it just, itself. Yeah, it knew just what was happening. It was an earthquake. It right was rumbling now. from the bottom. I was trying to encompass the episode in the freestyle. Yes. Hopefully it worked in those eight bars. But um, And he did that sober. Now imagine what he will sound like with some Dacha in the engine. Yo, bro, when I used to freestyle with Dacha with the Owens, we used to do those freestyles in uh, on the Muffin Man's garage. Pause. And um, <laughs> when we used to, to be in our little ciphers and shit and be going around, I'd fucking hijack the mic, so I don't know how long, it was on five minutes, six minutes, just free time, you know, just coming up with all the shit that was happening around us. And that's how I learned how to do it, because yeah. I use my environment to make the song. And same way I do it by the shows. If I was a man, you yes. hold up something in your pocket and I uh, eat at your socket. You know what I mean? That's, that's all my tricks, because those things kind of um, give me the lines. You know, so I'm counting bars, I'm like one, two, three, four, five, oh I'm like, okay, God. shit, I can use that for the first half, I can use that for the second half. But then also to be a real freestyler, there's people that's gonna only hold up shit when I start freestyling. Because then they're just gonna notice like, oh, no, I'm not gonna go rip on what, so I'm not gonna myself. So it's like now they're figuring it out, they're like, oh shit, I can hold up anything. And this motherfucker gonna figure it out. 
So then they start getting excited now, and then more things start getting put up while I'm freestyling. So now I've, I've, I have like five, starts six lines. Starts becoming like Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, you see the math equation. Cause, like. <laughs> because now I'm like, oh shit, wait, I didn't account for this thing. Or, oh, I didn't know he had that on him. And now it's a fun thing maybe that I know is gonna make the crowd scream or laugh, and I wanna incorporate it. So now I have to like diverge from what I had in my head as the original. And still keep the rhyme. And still keep the rhyme pattern going. But this is all what I'm thinking while I'm on the stage. I didn't get the chance to think of it before I got here. And because you're a king or an Easter, you're also thinking about what you're gonna chow and yes. what movie you're gonna watch while all that's going on. You're like, fuck it, later I'm gonna smell this pie and you're gonna watch that. <laughs> I do be thinking mad shit. I do be thinking mad shit on the stage sometimes, bro. I mean, I was laughing out there. Sometimes I do shows with my house keys on me, my phone, my asthma got in my pockets. Really? Everything on me still, bro. Well, like, better on the pockets than on the stage. Also true, bro, but it's just like, I'm so in a zone that sometimes before I go on the stage or when I'm on the stage, whatever the case, that I'm, I, I'm not myself almost. You know, like I told you, when you put me here now, yeah. I have to now perform, you know what I'm saying? So, so don't fuck with me at this point, you know what I mean? Don't, yes. don't, don't interrupt this moment, don't fuck with the synergy, don't get me out of my zen, nothing. Because this is the only time where I have the, the freedom yes. to be me and to say what I want to say and jump around and sweat and shout and yes. be on the scoff, you know what I mean? This is the only time I have that. For this 30 minutes, for this 20 minutes, for this 45 minutes, I can be me. You know, And I think that is something that all artists are... Or, or kind of, they're in it for that. Yes. They're in it for that release. Act. Yeah, they're in it for that therapy. They're in it for that, that outlet. Yes. You know? We need it. Do you ever get a post-production blues after like a big event, mm. months of build-up? Mm. It's a great thing. Mm. And it's like, it's the focus, it's the goal, and then mm. it's done. Because that's the thing about victory and success mm. is when you get what you want, you collapse the game. Mm. So that's why I must practice not getting what you want. Ooh, brought it back. Yeah, full circle. <laughs> You're good. You're really? Good. I'm gonna give you this. Thank you. You're good. Focus. Sometimes I'm really chuffed. Sometimes, sometimes really I'm fucking chuffed. I was having moments where I was like, you know, okay, uh, I, see how he's do, I, see, I, I see how he's doing this, this buffoonery, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> but then he, he brings it back and I'm like, shit! Buff Even when he did the king, the king thing. I know you're gonna expand on buffoonery. And please. Buffoonery. Don't you grant like that word? word? Don't you grant it? I also yes, do. I like it. I also do. And I seldom get to use it. That's why I threw it out. Yeah. Buffoonery. How many times in your life are you gonna say buffoonery to somebody? <laughs> it's very little. <laughs> well, blue. today I'm gonna. Get a, yeah. I like. Do you ever like throwing a cut big tantrum just to let people know? Like, Hi, right. this morning I walk in here, first thing I do is I push the camera on my side. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> what is this buffoonery? <laughs> Get me a coffee, we got youngster coming in today. Oh yeah. And then the tone is set. Yeah. No, and I, then I get my respect. Mm, I can imagine. Get my fucking respect. Mm. If I do that, I think somebody will just clap me over there, you know. Like, no, you, you know, must like, keep very... the lieutenants in line. Yeah, true, 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 true. <laughs> hey, but like I said, for that king shit, it's all about being a good king, bro. No, it is. And it's I was, I was joking. I was joking. No, you weren't. You weren't. Because I saw that man's face when I came in here. He, got he was scared. He was shivering. He was emotionally shattered. Okay. I shattered it. I, I broke that, him this morning. I, 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 I knew there was some domestic violence going on in this motherfucker. I just didn't know where it was coming from. But finally now, now that you've explained it to me, I understand why this man, had, he, he, he had one tear only. The one tear that, you know when a man that's, just had shed that one tear. That's a, oof, that's a Tom Cruise performance. Your luck. That's a Vanilla Sky shit. That is so, Vanilla Sky shit. Yo, the man. movie reference is golden. The, the film buffs are going to have a say, whale of a time in this When this started, you know, I'm just going to keep fucking. That's it. Sorry. Just like it. Oh, that, was okay. that was... Take it. Take it. Take it. <laughs> oh, God, that is intense. <laughs> <laughs> take it. Yeah, take, take it. it. Sorry. Not quite the same, but yeah. it's also there. Take it. Yeah, yours is take smaller it. than mine. Yeah, but it's ice, mate, a duck cock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hey, know what they say? It's not about the size, mate. It's how you use it. Who said that first? LL Cool J. Oh, I thought it was Michael Caine in Goldmember. 
Yes, was Michael Caine in Gold Member? He plays Austin Powers. Gold Member yeah. is yeah. James Bond's dick. It's his member. True. It's his gold member. True. This the... comes back down to cock somehow, I don't know. I feel like in your 70 years on this bowl, mm. swerfing in space, I might add. Or do, do you believe it's not in space? What is in space? This bowl that we're on now. Oh, no, I believe, I believe it's in space, definitely. Yeah. But why do they say the four corners of the Arda? Mm. But it's still then a disc or a thing swerfing in space. Yeah, yeah, a yeah. Block. Yeah, yeah, at the end of the day, it's some sort of a shape. But it's in space. We know it's a shape in space. It's a shape in space. You know, it's a circle, it's a square, it's four corners, whatever it may be. In but, space. Uh, in space. But um, I do definitely believe that we are you know, in a universe somewhere, yes. and we are not um, the most important uh, people that we... Not by a long shot. Nah, fuck no. Hell no. I believe the 70 or 80 years you get on this ball, mm -hmm. swerving in space, mm -hmm. always, almost always boils down to, to dicks and... Oh. And uh, so we're taking it back now to the, yeah, we're going, oh, to the... I was really trying to... Check out this field. Yeah, do it. <laughs> yes, take it. <laughs> take Notice it. how calm I am. You see that? It's your, yeah. Not, notice that demeanor that I had when, when you did it to me. Notice it. You calm. I'm noticing it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I feel. That's what happens it. when life comes at you. You just You see it. what I mean? No matter the outcome, none of us would be here without come. Yep. Yo, I tried, I tried to keep it there for that one. I couldn't do it, bro. Yo, that was a good one. Man, we'll go all day. We'll go all day with these one-liners. Fuck it. Claim creatives with cockroach ideas. Made monthly by Stain IP. Dames and heren, I sit here so samen met die guitar eister paard Ruan Graaf. Baie welkom, Ruan. Baie dankie. Let me just say, as you're a kunstenaar is in your music bedrijf, you know who he is, and he's probably played on your album. He was actually the guitar riff that you have heard Brom met on Jy Bly Still. Noem van die name op wie jy al sy albums jy al gespeel het. Okay, well, onlangs Joe Black, Irene Louise van Wijk. Singles van Peter Einder van Pletsen, Almere, Jani Bay, Bauer Bosch, Lee Cole, in um, verkies jy live of studio? Hmm, studio. Why? In, a, in die studio kan ek in my grot sit en muziek maak en net met die bare minimum mense interact. <laughs> Waar met, studio, met live moet ek maak vir ek mense mense is en dis uitputtend soms. Het is nogal uitputtend. So eerstens dankie dat jy hierdie doen en mense, I mean really, <laughs> mense is overrated. Who wants to interact with mense? Jouw studio's naam of production house is Die Graaf Productions. Yeah. Tell me a little bit more about that. Okay, well, this Die Graaf, want it is Dion D, my partner, and ek. Ek speak hier meer die hands on in met die, met die actual muziek maak. Tell me, Graaf, gloe jy ons het mense het a seal? Ek doen. Wat denk jy oor Zaab? Zaab? Oh. <laughs> Zab is um, your friend. I think you were mensen. Uh, overrated. Grootste les van die laatste vijf jaar. In enige situasie maak jy ook saak. En so, as iets vir jou nie recht sit nie, doe nie so aan. Big facts. So my opie big facts Mike met sy Krachtsak ook attached to the bottom of the mic. Extra big. Coddle that sock. Jelle, check D Graaf Productions out in Ruan Graaf. Definitely one of the top guitarists in the land. I can, I can vouch for that. And he's for you a klein geskinky courtesy of Stein IP. No, I still don't know what's in these puckies, but um, I hear that it's lekker. Try it now. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome in to your fund. What's your web address of Instagram? Um, also website dgraafproductions.co.za. But mostly Instagram. So my Instagram is net graaf, my fun. Double R, double F. Get yourself a graaf and dig it, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be prating. 
Kendrick or Eminem? Yeah. If you had to pick one. Uh, I see a lot of Eminem slander going on these days. And I you don't like it. Or I do you? I, I, no, I, I don't actually because, <laughs> because I just feel like oh, once again it's a... Uh, Can't slander a goat. And not only that, you can slaughter a goat though. But one thing though, it's, uh, 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 it's the time we're living in with this, uh, with this new generation of listeners and fans that are not... No, this fucking Z gen. I, I don't what does that hoot say? Nah. It doesn't. That's... Look, we can't blame them because some of them are nerds. You know, some of them nerd out to Eminem and go like dig up all these fucking tracks from some year we never heard of, and they're like, "Oh yeah. man, have you ever heard shit released before he was signed?" So you get, <laughs> you get, I don't know why I did it in a white voice. I just feel like it's white voice is doing it. Yeah, yeah I, I feel like the the we can say it. The he's like one of the greatest the, white rappers that ever existed, bro. Is Eminem white? Oh shit. What do you think about woke? Okay, okay. <laughs> but, we can't, but we can't exclude other white rappers like Paul Wall. Paul Wall get no love in this motherfucker. Still tapping on four fours. Have you noticed that Paul Wall has never ever been discriminated against by black people? That's brilliant. Bro. And he's from Houston, Texas, and he rapped with black men only. And that man been making grills for years. All that grills everybody was wearing back then, Paul Wall was making the goddamn grills. Yes, like that. Mac Miller. He passed away. Macklemore got in shit because he took the Grammy from Kendrick. Um, Asher Roth is no longer here in the industry. A lot of these white rappers have fallen to the wayside. Yellow Wolf couldn't do it. Yeah. Machine Gun Kelly wanted to go against him. He Eminem. went like... Yeah, you know, and he was, he's a knock artist now. But look at Paul Wall. Cruising. Cruising down the street in his Shout 6 out Paul Wall. So that's one thing we need to always pay attention to. Paul Wall never got in no heated debates and arguments. Nobody ever clapped back or, or, or like cut Paul Wall out or went to go listen to his old music. Like, oh, this is actually whack. He's still like, you know, consistent. Yeah. But he has new shit coming. But anyway, so I'm just making a point to say that nowadays Eminem has been seen as like overrated for some reason. Yeah. I can't understand why, because if you listen to this man's discography, like... They yeah, can't deny it. It's, it's, it's flawless. But when, yeah, when you get to certain albums, shit goes a bit crazy, but he's a real person. So yeah. he lived life, shit happened in his life, and the music obviously reflected that because he was dealing with so much personal cuck. He couldn't yeah. maybe, you know, create on, on the same scale that he was doing for all the other years. You know, like you say, the hunger. Yes. His hunger was obviously different in that first four albums. If you lose the hunger... It can come back. Don't lose yourself. But you yourself can hear it when, when in people... In the music. Yeah. You know? When Before you own the, it. You know? And the moment. You better never let it go. You know? Oh, shit. Be uh, uh, because you only get one shot. You, uh, you know? don't, it's, don't, do not miss your, your chance. Your chance to blow, yeah. Yeah. Because the opportunity, the opportunity comes. Uh, uh, once in a lifetime, you yeah. yeah. So, so, <laughs> so, so just, to, so just, to, just to go back to Eminem. Like, so Eminem, yeah, no, just, over Kendrick. Just because he, he's been in my life longer than Kendrick yeah. has. Eminem was there when I was a fucking light, bro. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So I lived with Eminem way longer than yes. I lived with Kendrick. Kendrick, I grew up already, and then he, you know, he was coming into existence. Also, a big fan of him, huge. Yes, I think yes. he's fucking a, a rare talent. A one, yeah. you know, one of one in the generation. But yo, but fucking Eminem, that that stories, those pictures, that art, that artistry. Yeah. I don't think we're gonna see that that Marshall Mathers, that Slim Shady, that Eminem show, that Encore, the yeah. D12 albums. We let, let's not sleep on fucking D12, bro. Devil's Night, D12 World. These are some of the hardest albums. You got Dr. Dre production on there. You got appearances from Be Real of Cypress Hill. You know what I mean, like. This is a this is a well yeah, packaged is product, bro. This is Detroit spitters, like, and Detroit is known for MCs. You know, not like these cookie cutter rappers or yes. like these commercial rappers. They're known for like guys that spit bars, you know, long verses. So, you know, Eminem's albums and even the shit he produces. You know, he produced "Lose Yourself." He made that what? himself. He produced no, that I song. I did not know that. He produced "Renegade," and then he killed Jay Z on his own shit. He made the beat for Jay-Z and then killed Jay-Z on his own shit, you know? If you look at the songs that he's made over this, if you look at the 8 Mile soundtrack even. Okay, now look, say could, no more. It, it's a great soundtrack, yeah. is it not? Yeah. It's Bafak, bro. Even the song, um, um, the song 8 Mile, or, 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 or 8 Mile Road, 
he sums up the whole movie once again. Didn't you do mm, that, that almost with um, blood and yes, 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 blood and water, blood, blood and water, water. Yes, almost yes, said yes, blood yes, and yes, tears. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 and no, people no. would have said this oak's a fucking clown, and yeah. I would have said I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, what are you gonna do? But yeah, I mean, uh, um, like I learned from guys like that. Yeah, you know, guys that uh, um, that I grew up listening to, it, and then I would watch the the music videos, the interviews, and listen to the album. Then I'd be like, oh shit, this is what he was talking about in that interview. Yeah, you heard in the song. Oh, this is the movie. And now the soundtrack speaks about that scene where he yes. does X, Y, Z. So I mean, his his ability um, to to capture shit. You know, it's just on a another level. It's very, very different. And no hate else. to Gen Z. I actually really like Gen Z. I, I do think like they them got as well. some. I do like them as well. They do irritate me when it comes time to speak on shit that they're not experts on. Yes. I don't get the fact that they think they learned everything because they have Google. Some things you can uh, only yeah. learn, and this is the fact: you can go to university and hit the books as hard as you want, mm. but ultimately. Experience is the only way to truly understand something in the fiber of your being. True, I. Yeah. Yes, my king. We're gonna be rotting. Rotting. Mm. When last did you hail? Cry. Yeah. Uh, when Ricky died. That was an emotional thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was emotional. Obviously. I cried for a while, bro. Because then Dumbles died also. Like a week later, DJ Dumble passed on. And uh, yeah, no, it was just uh, it was a very uh, um, a traumatic time. And there were other people also that were passing away and taking their own life also, yeah. and Cape Town from suicide and stuff like that. You know, just in the, the environment that we were in. And I think that was a, a very eye-opening yeah. time for me and awakening also. Because up until that point, I mean, I, I knew a lot of um, the people that took their own life. But I'd never seen it as as frequently in the music mm. industry as I did in in this. It was a few months ago. It wasn't even that long. You know what I mean? Yeah. So in this time, uh, is that uh, is that Ricky? Is he calling from above? No, I'm joking. He might be. He might be. He's always watching us, bro. You know, I, I do feel his presence a lot. Um, but yeah, that this is the last time I. Had that, you know, bawling out in tears, bro. And, and it's good to cry, though. It felt... That, that it, it didn't feel that way. <laughs> I didn't feel... I, I felt like a little bitch. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no that's joking. what I was saying, like... No, nah, because I was just like... Um, I was in a very really, uh, vulnerable place, in a dark place also myself. And you start to question your own life and yes. your own um, journey and what it is you doing and... What made them maybe feel that way, and is that the same as what you felt? And is this the answer? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, this is the kind of things that you start Those playing, are tough questions. start reflecting away. You know what I mean? And you have to take stock of yourself. You actually have to have internal conversations with yourself, not always answer yourself either. But um, yeah, and I, that that time, like even my girl, you know, I I felt a bit weak around mm. her because. I'm supposed to be the person that's, you know, kind of her shoulder mm. to, to cry. And yes, I mean, a relationship works both ways, you know, but during that time, it was more me doing the, the crying than her. Yeah. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, bro, I, I think that time was a, was a big, um, uh, it was a big loss for everyone. Yeah, it was. In, in it South was Africa. a big shock. You know, South African um, music industry lost a, a pioneer and a great. So he, he, he deserved all those tears, bro. Yeah. That's one thing. I didn't feel ashamed of crying. Like I said, I just felt weak. Yes. Because I couldn't stop, you know. I couldn't bring it, you know. I was like, when is this going to end? <laughs> when do but I stop but do, you, do, you, do you think vulnerability is a weakness or a strength? Mm -mm. It's definitely a strength. I just never felt that vulnerable before. Yeah. And, you know, this begs the question, like, what? What the fuck's going on? Fuck, bro. Yeah. Like, what's happening? What is so, so, so serious and so severe that we can't actually deal with this problem alive? You know, why do we feel like that's the final, you know, that's the final um, a solution? Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's scary, bro. It's scary. You, you, you know, we, we're having light-hearted conversation, and I don't really want to put this, 
Yeah, no, it's good. Uh, it's yeah. good to to acknowledge. It's that's change a, the tempo a little bit. I it's change the tempo. This is yeah. the yeah, six, yeah, yeah, seventy the BPM. Yeah, here we go. You know what I mean? This is the soft eight oh eight just broming away in the bottom there. That's the point. They wanted to leave the door. Yes. That's when they start playing those numbers. Those yeah. who want to leave now, feel free Please. to exit. To exit through the gift shop. But oof, Banksy reference there as well. Yo, all the day, on, baby, on, all day. It's never point. gonna stop. That's what I do. But I just feel like. The musicians were thrown to the wayside yeah. over this last two years of the yes. pandemic. I wanted to ask if you feel that has some definitely. Bro. The musicians got you know thrown into the garbage and the trash. They, there's a two-part uh, blame game we can play with that though. Number one, they've been posting houses and cars and Rolexes and you know the success yeah. for years. So. When nobody feels sorry for you because it's a pandemic, you can't blame them because they think that your life is made. Yeah. You know, you and you've been showing it to us that it's made. That's what you've portrayed. You, you've given us the highlights of the game. If we don't watch the whole 90 minutes, you'll never know what the fuck really went on. You yeah, know? But if true. you just show us when the goals were scored, we're going to think, ah, damn, this is a successful team. And they, these are the greatest players and they never have off days, yeah. you know? So on the one hand, you have to look at it like that, like we as musicians kind of showcase a, a, a life to the audience and they perceive that as our life. That's why in my music, I use, aside from <laughs> weed, I use words <laughs> like Dacha and I yeah. use the reality and I use our situations and our experiences of life to highlight my music and my life yes. and my story. Because I don't want people to think that there's a Bentley and there's gold rings and you know, there's a vault with millions of rands in it. I don't want to show that until that's my life. Yes. But while it's not my life, I'm going to tell you what the fuck's going on in my life. So that's number one. I would say that we kind of dug ourselves into the soul as artists. And then number two, I will say on the flip side, that even though we showcased our material positions as artists, I say us because I'm, you know, I'm also an artist myself, so I can't just put the blame on yes. all the rich ones. The, the, the problem comes in where, I mean, there's people that they have Fortune 500 businesses that close down. There's people that they have established companies higher than, uh, uh, than most artists will ever have that couldn't survive. You know, um, we saw giants crumble. Yeah. We saw corporations close doors and let go of staff in the 5,000 and 10,000 people that had to be unemployed. The unemployment, are, a uh, rate went higher than it's ever been in our country. Yeah. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Ever, ever. Ever, ever, ever. Ever, ever. ever. It's never, you know, yeah. it's never been that high before. So what makes you think that if those guys couldn't withstand it, that a rapper from South Africa <laughs> is better off? Yeah. You should have still thought these guys needed help. You should have still aided them. You should have still come up with some sort of a, a plan for them, a contingency plan, if the music industry were to, so say, crumble. Because that's kind of what Yeah, happened. and I think the pandemic showed how fragile everything is. Like, the Sukum, you can't have a sense of identity mm. in your possessions or your wealth or your success because all of it yeah. can literally, in the matter of overnight, oh. be gone. This is, this is, this is a mad... Yeah. It's a mad reality. And it's crazy the year it happened. 2020. 2020. Thank you. It's, it's too good. Yeah. It's too perfect to happen. Like, I, I had an album that I was planning to release in 2020. And I tell this story a lot and I thank that man right there. Because he convinced me to release it in 2019. <laughs> you call, we you, we you released call, an album in April 2020. Oh. <laughs> and we didn't go Take on it. tour. Take it! <laughs> that was life. That was life Literally. in April 2020, Just my friend. Take Fuck it, sex, it. bro. Yo. Na Nax actually said a cool thing to me the other day. He uh. said, whenever things are going really well in his life and he feels like good and stuff is going well, like in terms of people and connections and relationships mm. and work and mm. shows, he feels like the universe is preparing him for a lemon. Ooh, definitely. And that's a cool way to be like, no, no, don't just assume that this is this pocket yeah, yeah, yeah. is permanent. Uh. Get ready, strengthen up now, 
eat the papa's dick. Yeah, yeah. Because you don't know what the lemon is, but life will always hoy you another lemon. But mm. if you look close enough, you'll realize it will also always prepare you mm. for that lemon. True. True. In other stages of your life, you've encountered something similar or you've been through a level that kind of had some of the, the elements that you've been experiencing on that, you know, lemon level, we we'll call it that. I like that, lemon yeah. level. But you can have it, please. Thank you. Please. Thank you. Those are my outfits. When I came into that time, I was accustomed to it already, just being on my own and, and you know, kind of being in house kind of thing. But I wasn't used to not working. Yes. Not traveling. Yes. Not being on stage, not being in front of an audience of, you know, thousands of people and not getting on a plane and flying to the next place to go do the same thing again for the whole weekend. And yeah. I, that part fucked me up. And that's the thing. People think, oh, the money we're losing, the money. Fuck the, the money. The thing is, right, if you have yeah. a gift, mm. it's, the, the problem is, it's not your gift. It mm. means nothing if it's just sitting there. It's your gift to give to others. And if you can't do that, that's what, what fucks up with, fucks with artists' minds. Because mm. you know you have this gift, and when you're out there on the stage, you're giving your gift. It's your gift to give. And when you can't do that, then you f suddenly you something creeps in and you're like, mm. what is... What do I... Yeah, yeah. Why am I here? What's my purpose? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, the gift that keeps on giving. Should I do it? Should I do it? I think you should do it. Okay. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Fuck, I feel like... <laughs> <laughs> wow. Out of all the things that's happened with this big fucking job. Is that the greatest? No, I would no. have to say it's definitely the most intense. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine, bro. God definitely damn it. the most intense. Okay. okay, wait, now do it to me. Let's see how you can remain calm. You see that? <laughs> I see you that. See that? It's intense. It's you have intense eyes. Man. Yeah, no, hey, I've heard okay. that before. Hit me. As a final question. Yeah. Is jij bang for die dood? No, not, not necessarily. I'm, I'm sad for what's going to happen here when I'm gone. But you think you'll know that what's going on here? I know people's going to like, they're going to argue and fight and they're going to, you know, I mean, everyone's going to try and let pick it who was closer to me and <laughs> who deserves the, you know, Everyone knows collection. it was cruel to hold. All the time, was all. all <laughs> this time, bro, you know. But as for for there, what to expect? I'm I'm hoping I'm gonna see everyone that <laughs> that left early. Yes. And that's what I'm looking most forward for. I want to see those people, but I miss them, you know. But as for yeah, but I nah, I just I, I just worry that people are gonna be a, a bit chaotic uh, without me around sometimes, like. Yeah. You, you know, they're going to get into disputes and cack like that, and they're going to focus on the wrong stuff. But no, 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 I'm not scared, bro. I, I said my prayers. So you're not scared, but you're not ready. Shit, bro, if it comes, I don't think we're going to be ready either way. Man. You know, I don't know if I'm, I'm going to be that prepared, yeah. but I would like some sort of a, <laughs> a clear sign. Yeah, like as to, just the hey, heads yo, man, up. 30 days, nigga, 30 days. I'm going to be like, okay, <laughs> shit, days, yeah. let me start prepping. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> get that album out immediately. We're going to call it the greatest hits. We're going to call it, <laughs> yeah, I am, now I'm not. You know what I mean? Or whatever. But I, 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 I think I've, I've made peace with this fact now that I've um, experienced so many losses. I know yeah. that it's tempering me. I know yeah. that this is not a permanent place that we're gonna live. Like you said, we're just spinning out there somewhere in this, you know, in this giant uh, universe. So I'm aware of that, and I know I'm, I mean this much. You know, I'm it's just... a good life philosophy that to the minute you're freaking out about something, mm. you're like super goal driven, mm. or you're not getting what you want. You have to zoom out, and the best way to do that is to say, remember that you not will die. Mm that you must die. Mm. And that is the only promise. So maybe the meaning of life is to die. Yeah. Because we all must do it. And so thing. must this interview, which is actually not an interview at all. It's a prat. Yeah, it's a And I can heal it. I can feel like I'm with you can prat. We can, bro. But you're a busy man. And I'm, I, I thank you for your 
Hij waardeert dit. Hij waardeert dit voor je tijd, je insight en voor sharing met ons. En ik zal je dit You Je bent een king, maar je bent ook een clown. Wat gaf het het weg? Well, that definitely. Oh, okay. Let's please. Yeah. No, no more. No more. No more. Stop putting it in my face. I can't handle I it. I feel like the camera yeah. just now uh, later <laughs> needs to get a shot of what that actually feels like. Oh no, the camera is definitely gonna get the shot of that shit. Ooh, you're. Give the audience a little taste of what this feels like. Take it. It's not so lacking, especially Take not. It. When someone says, coming take back it. into my face, also, so it's kind of like a double edged sword. Yeah, take like, it. It's like take two dicks of better than none, you know, one of those take kind it. of situations. Sometimes yeah. this is life. I also want to end it off on a happy note, man. You know what I mean? You're yeah. all going to die one day. But Go fuck faster, it, man. End it off on a fucking happy note. <laughs> <laughs>